let's play around with Blender's random tools. Alright guys, how's it going? A very quick tutorial today, and I'm going to cover the bases of Select Random and Select Randomize Transform, two native functions in Blender, and we'll try and create something a little bit funky. Now, I have this Blender text here, and it basically contains over 800 pieces, so I can select them all here, it's quite a lot to be honest. Now I'm going to select random, so if I actually go to select, go to select random, it'll bring up a dialog box in the bottom left hand side, you can see here I can select the percentage and I can also select the random seed, so let's put this up to maybe something like 42% and we'll just generate a random seed, something like that, that's pretty cool. Now, there's one thing that you need to be aware of regarding random select, it will select the camera and lights and any other kind of objects in the scene. Now there's one way we can actually mitigate this, what we can do is we can go up to the object visibility and we can take off the camera and the light and anything else, so if you have maybe like text or a curve in the scene, you just disable these and it means they won't get selected when we run the random select. Now I've written a tool that's called random select plus, well it's a bit bigger than that to be honest, but that kind of does it automatically for you, it'll be out in the next couple of weeks, there is some nice goodies in there, but anyway, totally digressing, going off point. So we've randomly selected several parts of the mesh, pretty cool to be honest. Now what I can now do is I can go to object, I can go to transform, and I can randomise the transform. Now I'm actually going to go to keyframe 100, and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to press I, and insert a location rotation and scale keyframe. Then going to go back to frame 0, or 1, I'll then go up to object, transform, randomise transform, and I'll just put the location out something like this. Now I'm not really too bothered what I'm doing, I'm just kind of randomising it. We can change things like the random seed, the location, the rotation and even the scale. So I'm just going to quickly rotate some stuff like this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press I and I'm going to insert a keyframe on location, rotation and scale and now we essentially get something like this. Dead easy and if you put the right materials on it, it'll look damn good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is actually apply a material to these 800 parts. Now obviously I'm not going to do this by hand because you'll be there all day. What I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to select one object, I'm going to go to the material settings, I'm going to give it a new material, well just leave it on default at the moment, we'll jump into the shading tab, let me just hide all this stuff for you, and what I'll do is I'll go to the object, I'll then drop down an object info node. The next thing I'm going to do is drop in a colour ramp, and I'm going to attach it to the random, so I'll press shift and A, S to search, we'll drop in a colour ramp here, let's take the random, let's plug this into the factor, and the first colour I'm going to make red, something like this, I'm going to add another midway point, we'll make that blue, and we'll make this one green, and then I'll plug the colour into the base colour. So hopefully we should see this one object being assigned a value. So what I'll do is I'll jump quickly back into the viewport, let's have a look, excellent. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to press A to select all of the objects. Now I actually have the materials utility add-on, comes pre-installed with Blender, you just need to enable it, I'm not going to show you that but you get what I mean, and the shortcut for this is Shift and Q I believe. Select, and what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to copy the materials to selected. And now we'll get this random generated colour in all of the parts, and check this out. How cool is that? And that's pretty much the random select and the random transformation. Do me a favour guys, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.